In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to generate your tweets using the bulk publishing system. I'm going to start with some random keywords. The first thing that comes to mind is learning how to. And she. We're going to take these keywords and put them in the sheet. We're going to remove this first one for obvious reasons. And now we're going to generate a bunch of tweets based on these topics. First, I'm going to try the get tweet function. So the get tweet function is going to give you tweets in a tip manner. So depending on the keyword, the get tweet function is going to try to turn it into a tip and it's going to give you some hashtags and things like that that are consistent with the format of a tweet. So it's keeping it short and sweet. But if you don't like that output, you can always use a custom prompt. is throwing in an awful lot of emojis, but it definitely understood the assignment. But let's say we want to make a thread. I'm just going to create another column, I'm gonna name it thread. And conveniently, I've prepared a new formula called get thread. The first time I'm trying it out, so let's see how it does. There we go. It's taken the first bit of the keyword and it's continued on, which is what it does. But I think it's lined out the different parts of the thread. So each of these one, two, three, four, these would all be individual threads is what I'm guessing. Uh, let's click and drag and see what the rest of them look like. And you've got hashtags in these threads, but you don't have emojis. So I guess you could use both of them. Um, wherever up those engines, let's hit the road. Learning how to drive can be nerve wracking, but it's also an exciting adventure full of new experiences, driving lessons, new driver. Yeah, you could use, you could use these together. You could use these together. Get to know your car, practice staying alert. So it's given a whole thread of of tips. This is awesome. Definitely using this. Again, I just I just made this. These ones are not numbered, which is fine. You can see they're on individual lines. And they have got a bunch of hashtags. This one's even got the uh emoji numbers. So the the turbo 3.5 model definitely understands understands how to tweet and understands how to thread so those are cool i'm not going to waste any more of my uh, tokens because we can see what it likes to do for each of them so this one isn't get tweet this is a custom prompt the custom prompt just says to generate an engaging tweet on the topic and to include hashtags but because it has the word tweet in it, it knows what it means to generate a tweet, if that makes sense. So it understands the pattern of tweets. It understands it also has to be a specific length. Um, so it's keeping those things consistent. Likewise, when I've asked it to make a thread, it understands that threads are multiple tweets and they also have to be under a specific character amount, but they can run consecutively. So it's making some really good tips for 
whichever topic you tell it to make the threads from. So this is just another example of how you can scale some of your business operations and social media, because we're all diversifying, is one of those ways that you have to find a way to do at scale, whether you're hiring somebody or trying to find ways to automate the things you already do, looking for ways that you can do this. You can't be everywhere at once. And personally, my social media channels, I'm making a YouTube automation uh, section in the Topical Authority Accelerator course and looking at my five different channels, seeing that they're growing, seeing that they have grown despite my lack of consistency. It really shows me how much I need to have these systems in place. So carving out your social media marketing plan and using the sheet in all of these ways is going to help you. So I'm more than likely going to do some more videos on using the sheet for social media marketing. So um, I've already displayed how you can generate captions for your Instagram posts. Uh, there's Pinterest that I've not explored. The YouTube one's going to be very, very interesting because I'm getting it to generate scripts alongside my blog posts for the topic based on the outline, which I've been doing and that's super fun. So, so much to explore. I just wanted to test the thread function I've just added to the sheet. So go and refresh and you'll see it there.